Settings give access to all global configuration parameters. There are four tabs on the left column. The network view gives access to two sections. On the left side, the wide LAN port section. On the right side, the internal wireless LAN access point, LAN settings. All network related adjustments can be made here, such as EP address, netmask, gateway and DNS. These values are usually left at the factory settings, but they can be modified for special uses. A standard usage of the M18 digital mixer does not require the LAN port. WLAN settings. All Wi-Fi related adjustments can be made, mostly like a standard Wi-Fi access point. SSID. You can modify the factory setting to provide a name that you can remember. The factory name is M18 followed by a combination of letters and numbers. Country. You should select the country where you are operating the mixer so that you can comply with local radio regulations. Please notice that if you leave to the default value none, the transmitting power will be limited and you will not obtain the best performance from the M18 digital mixer, including maximum distance and robustness to interference. Band. You can select between the usual 2.4 GHz band and the less crowded 5 GHz band, depending on your tablet. Channel. You can minimize interference from other access points by selecting a channel that is not being used by others. There are several scanning software applications that enable you to view which channels are available. Security. You can either keep the access point open or enable Wi-Fi security. WPA2 PSK. In this case, you can also modify the default password. After you make all changes to either LAN or WLAN parameters, press Send to modify these settings in the mixer. A reboot is required to make these changes effective. In the advanced settings, you can choose between the internal and external antennas. This shift is immediate and does not require a reboot. The reboot button is intended for advanced applications and should not be pushed during normal usage. Global. This page contains several settings that affect the operating mode of the mixer. The 48 volt phantom enable section allows the activation of 48 volt phantom power for microphone inputs in groups of four using the phantom 1 to 4 and phantom 5 to 8 switches. The phone mode section sets the mode of the headphones output, allowing to select PFL on faders input page or personal mix. The input stereo link section allows to stereo link an odd channel with the next even channel. After the link is made, all settings from the odd channel will be copied to the even channel and the numbers of the inputs that you have paired, for instance 3 and 4, will appear below a single fader with stereo VU meter. The link option is available for all inputs 1 to 18 and for the stereo player from USB flash drive. The player is serial linked by default. The footswitch section's controls allow changing the operating functions of the footswitch. Mode allows you to choose between latching or momentary NC footswitch contact. Now, have a look at the switch 1, tip, and switch 2, ring, drop down menus, which list all the parameters to be controlled. The output routing section also has drop down menus that allow choosing the source for several physical outputs. The AUX output can be set as AUX, main, or phones buses. The phones output can be set as main or phones buses. MIDI. This page allows you to define which MIDI channels are associated with specific functions. You can also disable MIDI commands for each channel. The global MIDI channel is dedicated to the control of all the output channel's levels via control change messages, snapshot recall via program change messages and USB player transport control via note-on messages. The following four MIDI channels are dedicated to the control of the multi-effects patch recall via program change messages and effects on-off via note-on, note-off messages.